Cancer is one of those diseases that can give, have you running scared right out of the doctor's office. It is scary. You feel powerless. But Jason Whiteley met a man who proved that you can outrun it. This was the best way to stay in shape, stay fit. Doubtful you'll find another runner wearing one of these. You know, it sits in the small of my back when I run. Nobody even knows it's there. It's a portable pump injecting Mike Kane with chemotherapy. This is an electric pump here. It takes about 46 hours. Early on, I said to myself, no matter what happens, um, I'm going to have a great attitude with all this stuff, and I'm going to be as physically strong and fit as I can possibly be. I'm going to be the strongest, fittest stage four colon cancer patient in America. This is a marathon Mike never expected. In fact, it was a five mile run last August when a sudden pain in his abdomen sent him to the hospital. This is the scan. This is how this whole thing started. I said, that picture doesn't look good. What is that? And that is the cancer. That's the cancerous mass. A polyp developed into a tumor and then it grew into his liver. And at age 56, Mike's diagnosis sounded like a death sentence. When cancer gets into the liver, most doctors say it is often untreatable, usually a death sentence for the patients, all except for one doctor at Methodist Hospital in Richardson. Well, look at what the cat dragged in. How are you? <laughs> I'm good to see you. How are you? <laughs> Dr. J is the surgeon who removed that tumor and two thirds of Mike's liver. And you know, I was very nervous that day because a little bit this way and we would have taken all of his blood supply to his liver and he'd be dead. Now, 10 months later, we were there as Mike got the news. And no new lesions at all. And your lungs look great. Clear? Yeah. He's now cancer free and Mike's liver is even regenerating itself. Without doing volumetric calculations, I can't tell you, but you've probably grown about 25%. Statistics were stacked against him. 92% of patients with his diagnosis die within five years. Somehow Mike Kane, though, beat the odds, took his chemo on the run and disciplined himself to defeat it. Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News. Incredible, wow.